Hey YouTube, glad you're back. It's been a couple weeks since the last time I posted. I got a bunch of projects in the works right now. Today I want to get the fires going and finish a project that I'm working on for my barn. I'm going to make an islet today out of this small piece of square that I hammered out. So let's get the fire going and we'll see what happens. So the first thing I'm doing here is drawing out stock a little bit so I have enough material to actually do the work with for the eyelet that I have. Uh, that and the material that I originally had pulled out, which is just the same thing, was thicker so I wanted it to be thinner to make the uh, whole process a little bit easier as far as welding is concerned. So what I'm doing here now is making a bit of a scarf. And that's all I really want to do right there is just kind of the edge of the anvil. Making it around sort of like that. So when I flip it around so I can make the eyelet itself, corner of my anvil right here to get the scarf to go around each side as easy as I possibly can. This helps to keep the uh, oxidation out between the two sides or the two pieces that are getting ready to go together. Try to get it as in there in all the spots that I possibly can. That's not going to work, but this will. So now what I'm going to do is do a little bit of drifting just to open it up because this is the end that will go into the, uh, this is the end that will be hooked. So now I have it nice and wide. Now open it up wide so you can see the forge weld stud, uh, took. That's good. that I finished up. Uh, this is a, I did this a couple weeks ago. Same kind of principle with the eyelet, forge welded, and then sharpened. I hope this isn't too short. With a hook, twist and a hook, and then there's the one we did today. Let's go hang them up. I just want to note that I actually drilled a 1 8 inch pilot hole on these because the square nails tend to act more like a wedge than a regular nail. I just want to thank everybody for actually taking the time out to watch my videos. It really means a lot to me. If you got a minute, leave me a comment. Surely hit that like button down there. And I'll see you next time.